Hi friends, hope you are doing good. Recently I have designed a course that is Snowflake scripting. So let's see in this video what is meant by Snowflake scripting, for whom this course is designed, what is the content of this course, what are the prerequisites to learn this course, what is the duration of this course and how to get this course material and the videos. Ok, let's see. What is Snowflake scripting? So if you see in most of the databases we can write the stored procedures using only SQL, right? But in Snowflake we have a flexibility of writing procedures using multiple languages like JavaScript, Scala, Java, Python along with the SQL. So the procedures written by using SQL is called Snowflake scripting. Okay? And let's see for whom this course is designed for. Okay. If you are struggling to understand complex stored procedures written by others like your team members, then this course is for you. If you are struggling to write simple to complex stored procedures and user defined functions, then this course is for you. If you want to go through some reusable stored procedures that can be implemented in your projects with small changes. I will go through what are the list of stored procedures in the next slide. Okay. So if you want to go through those reusable stored procedures, then this course is for you. And if you have very good knowledge on SQL, but if you don't have any knowledge or if you, if you are struggling to write PLSQL programs, okay, then this course is for you. Okay. What is the content of this course? Okay. First, I will explain the concepts of Snowflake scripting. Then I will go through some list of stored procedures that can be implemented in your projects as well. So those can be reusable. So if I directly explain the stored procedures, then you may feel difficult, difficulty in understanding those procedures. That's why first I will explain the concepts of Snowflake scripting. That is what is meant by a stored procedure. What are the blocks in a stored procedure? So how to define and use variables in your stored procedures. So what is the importance of execute immediate block and how to write execute immediate block. So what is meant by table literals and identifiers which are very important while writing stored procedures and flow control statements. So there are two types of flow control right conditional like that is if else and case statement and looping for loop and while loop. So how what is the use of this flow control statement. Uh, I will explain with uh, proper examples. Then I will explain about cursors and result set which are very important in writing stored procedures. Then exception handling. So if you are facing any errors, so how to uh, handle those exceptions while writing procedures. Then what is mean by transactions? Okay, so what is the use of transactions in Snowflake scripting? First I will explain all these concepts. Okay, then I will explain about Snowflake information schema. So this snowflake information schema plays a uh, very important role in writing stored procedures. So I will go through on brief, I will go through brief on this uh, snowflake information schema. Then I will explain uh, 10 plus stored procedures or some implementations that are very useful in real time. Then I will explain the very, very important topic debugging stored procedures. Okay, so I have seen many people, okay. So they are struggling to understand the procedure. They are struggling to identify where is the error. They are struggling to how to fix that error. So if you want to fix the error, first of all, you have to understand or identify where the exact error is. In Snowflake, it is very difficult to identify where the exact error is. So I will tell you some tips with some examples. Okay. So this is very, very important topic in real time debugging stored procedures. Then I will explain about uh, UDFs. So how to write U UDFs. There are two types of UDFs scalar and tabular. So how to write this stored uh, this user defined functions using SQL. I will explain with some examples. Ok and finally I will come to a conclusion. So this is the content I am going to teach in this course. Ok. Ok. Once I am done with the explanation of uh, all the concepts of snowflake scripting, 
i'll go through this generic stored procedures that can be implemented anywhere and some implementations okay so the first one is a procedure to automate your data loads so the source can be anything okay the any number of tables uh, you have in the target so how to automate the data load okay and then i will explain uh, uh, the scd slowly changing dimensions type 1 and type 2 so how to implement this scd type 1 and type 2 in snowflake by using streams and tasks okay then i'll come to a procedure to automate one to one view creation so you may uh, get a question so why, what is the need to uh, automate the view creation suppose if you have thousands of tables transaction tables in your database and uh, you want to create a view uh, corresponding view for each and every table suppose if you have 2000 tables is it possible to create views manually for all the 2000 tables which is very difficult and time taking task but if you can write a procedure okay so it is very simple okay you can simply uh, if you execute that procedure all 2000 views will be created within i can say two three minutes okay so i'll i have created a procedure for that i'll explain that procedure and a procedure to automate the dropping of all tables from a schema so again you may get a doubt here so what is the need of for dropping tables okay so if you feel if you want to clean up your schema that means uh, uh, delete all the objects drop all the objects present in the schema or if you feel there is no need of all those objects or if you want to rename all those objects okay so first thing is you have to drop all the tables uh, ignore about the renaming so some or other reason you want to drop all the tables of a schema so if you have some thousand two thousand tables is it possible to drop each and every one so it takes a lot of time to prepare those uh, dropping statements and uh, to execute them okay so if you can write a procedure to automate that process it will be very easy so i have created a procedure for that okay and you may get one one more doubt so instead of dropping all the tables you can directly drop a schema right but in real time so a developer will not have schema level permissions that that means you cannot operate on schemas schemas like creating schema dropping schema okay you may not have permissions but you will have table level permissions to operate on tables like creating tables uh, dropping tables altering tables everything you will have so in that case this procedure will be very useful okay then i'll explain a procedure uh, for migrating the ddl from one database to another database okay so in general we don't do this by using a procedure but we do like uh, by using some uh, code versioning and jenkins like that okay but if there is any requirement okay if you want to migrate the table ddls from one database to other snowflake database so how to do it suppose if you have a dev environment test environment okay uh, and before going to the production environment so if you want to copy all the tables if you want to create all the tables in test environment which is present already in dev so how to do that instead of manually creating so how to automate that process so i have created a procedure for that uh, very similar to that okay so how to migrate the views from one database to other database and uh, so we will have other objects as well right along with the tables and views in a schema you will have procedures functions streams tasks stages everything so is it possible to migrate all those objects from one database to other database okay so we'll see the possibilities so i'm i haven't created any procedure because which is difficult but i will go through the other way uh, the workaround for this okay we'll discuss the possibilities of doing this then i will go through a procedure for automating full load uh, from suppose if you have data in staging table and if you want to load the uh, full data into target table so how to automate that process that means if you execute that procedure by passing a table name as a parameter so the full load should be completed okay and then i'll explain a procedure for automating delta load or incremental loading from stage tables to target tables okay then i'll explain a procedure for sample data setup for testing in lower environment okay suppose you uh, your code is running in production okay and you want to do some enhancements okay so obviously we have to do the enhancements that means the code changes in the development environment right but if you want to test your changes you need some data right 
in that case how to how you can copy the existing data that is available in the production so how to so suppose if you have 100% of data in uh, production no need to test your code changes with all 100% of data some maybe 10 15% data is enough right so how to automate that process of uh, sample data setup okay from one environment to other environment how you can copy data some sample data for your testing okay so i have created a procedure for that i'll go through that then so how to deploy so many people are requesting me okay i already did a video on this so i am keeping that video in this course as well so how to do port deployment using github and schema change so i'll go through first of all github so the check in process how to create your uh, own github account and what is the check in process okay so what is version controlling and what is it, what is the schema change so by using schema change how you can migrate the objects from one environment to other environment so i will explain everything in this procedure so these are some generic procedures or implementations that can be used anywhere in your project in your if you want to practice in your personal okay these are very useful okay what are the prerequisites to learn this course okay so if you have basic knowledge on sql that is sufficient if you have basic idea on snowflake cloud that will be very good if you have basic programming language like c c++ or java then you can learn this course you can learn this snowflake scripting very easily just like this okay so don't worry so many people uh, they don't have knowledge or ex work experience on c java so this is not mandatory i'll make sure i will teach each and every concept uh, so that you can learn it very easily along with the examples okay but if you have some basic sql knowledge and uh, some basic idea on snowflake cloud okay so what is mean by a warehouse okay what are the other objects like stages schemas um, uh, streams tasks so if you have basic idea on on those okay it will be very useful then what is the duration of this course okay so this is uh, uh, i have designed 10 hours of videos along with the uh, uh, concepts snowflake scripting concepts and all the stored procedures i have explained right so it came around 10 hours 10 plus hours so i can say if you spend 90 minutes every day that is 30 minutes to go through the video on ppt and 60 minutes for pr practicing then you can complete this course in 15 to 20 days maximum okay so if you can spend more time like uh, 2 to 3 hours then you can learn with uh, in 10 to 15 days okay and finally how to get this course okay so this is the course link this course is available in udemy and udemy business so if you don't know what is mean by udemy business then so if you are working in a company and uh, that company is enrolled for udemy business then you can get this course for free okay no need to pay anything so you can directly enroll uh, for this course and you can learn it so this is available in udemy and udemy business as well and i have provided some discount coupon okay so the coupon details are available in the description of this video so you can get this uh, entire course so entire videos ppts uh, the query files i am using everything for around 500 rupees okay so this is my uh, snowflake scripting course and this is the link i'll provide the link and the discount coupon details in the description of this video okay so, and what are my other courses available in youtube and udemy i prepared two courses long back like a snowflake complete course for clearing interviews where i have explained the complete uh, uh, concepts of snowflake okay advanced features of snowflake with the proper examples okay so that course is available in udemy as well as in youtube and uh, so so many students requested me so do a course on sql because because uh, so in some of the courses we are not getting some concepts okay so if you can make a course with the complete concepts of sql with proper examples it will be very useful so many people requested and they requested me to do it in telugu so the sql course i have designed completely in telugu so this is uh, uh, this is also available in both udemy and youtube so what is the difference between udemy and youtube okay the videos are same in udemy and youtube 
the complete course videos are same but if you want to download all the pptes the query files and the sample data files for your uh, practicing then go for udemy otherwise youtube videos are enough okay and uh, there are some discount coupons for these courses as well so you will get these courses uh, for around 500 rupees okay i'll provide the links for these courses and the discount coupon details for these courses in the description of this video okay so finally i wish you a very happy learning thank you